Join us at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino with the number one gaming experience and entertainment. The Prompt Nugget has the number one dining experience at Stockman Steakhouse, Golden Harvest Cafe, and the Gold Miners Buffet. Come get your game on at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino. This portion of the news is brought to you by Desert View Hospital and Mountain Valley Physicians Group. Don't put your health on hold. We have time for you. Call us to schedule your appointment, 775-751-7100. Fall Festival Entertainment Committee put on quite a show this year. News 46 spoke to Rodney Camacho about the weekend's events. weekend long we saw some excellent entertainment uh, we had everything from the run young hard rock uh, groups to country um, uh, demonstrations we had the karate kids from uh, drag I call them karate kids from the dragon cloud dojo and a uh, uh, bird show from uh, Las Vegas amazing too that uh, bird show is finishing off the festival right now yes um, they got a good good crowd out there it's always a kids favorite uh, the parrots birds or whatever they're called are doing a lot of tricks out there Flameology came out too as well. Oh, Flameology, I can't forget them. Another big one. They were huge last year, um, drew a huge crowd again this year and did their fire dances. A wide array of different types of bands as well. A lot of people out on the dance floor at different times and uh, really spread out as well. You also had some shade out here, which really kept the crowds. Yeah, we brought in some shade to cover some of the bleachers. And, and uh, on the other side, we uh, put the bleachers closer to the trees, which drew shade um, later, in the, in later in the day. Um, and that helped bring the crowd out also. Yeah, we, we contracted Bogus Productions out of Las Vegas for stage and sound, as you said, and a crew. Um, there are special, other special people that, that assisted throughout the whole process. A lot of uh, local bands, but bands from other areas too as well. Yes, uh, last year I had majority was Las Vegas. This year the majority was Pahrump. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we did have quite a few from Las Vegas though. Amazing uh, uh, performance all through the weekend, starting on Thursday night and lasting all the way to Sunday, even well into the evening hours. Well into the evening hours. In fact, last night on Target Band closed up closed up the festival. Um, if, if I would, if I didn't have uh, contract workers from uh, Las Vegas, we would probably went to two p two a.m. We will have a fall festival recap on tomorrow night's newscast and more on the 2013 Prom Fall Festival throughout the week. When we come back from this break, we'll have your weather with Noah Began and a special goodbye from all of us here at KPBM. Stay tuned. News 46 weather is brought to you by Healthcare Partners Medical Group with five locations in Pahrump. Local doctors and professional staff providing total care from infancy to seniors. News 46 weather is also brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. Hello and welcome back to News 46. Today we're looking at sunny skies with a high of 85 degrees and an average temperature of 88 degrees. Winds will be coming from the south-southwest at 4 miles per hour with gusts up to 12 miles per hour. The UV index is 7, which is very high. Humidity is at 11% today. Sunrise was at 6.38 a.m. And the record high in 1978 was 101 degrees. Tonight we're looking at clear skies with a low of 55 degrees and an average temperature of 66 degrees. Winds will be coming from the south-southeast at 4 miles per hour with gusts up to 6 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 22%. Sunset will be at 6.28 p.m. And the record low in 1982 was 47 degrees. Tomorrow we're looking at sunny skies with a high of 89 degrees and a low of 57 degrees. Winds will be coming from the south-southwest at 6 miles per hour with gusts up to 14 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 16 percent. Sunrise will be at 6.39 a.m. And the UV index is 7, which is very high. For our 7-day forecast, looks like a sunny week. Your high temperatures will be ranging from the high 80s to the mid 70s and your low temperatures will be ranging from the high 50s to the high 40s. 
Thanks so much, Noah. We're going to leave this broadcast with some heartbreaking news. Our old Doug Brindle has sadly passed away. Doug was diagnosed with an inoperable brain tumor just months ago. He's been in hospice care until yesterday afternoon, where the 57-year-old succumbed to the disease. All of us here at KPVM-TV News 46 are heartbroken at losing such a smart, talented, lively, and animated individual as Doug Brindle. Doug worked for KPVM-TV on and off for many years. He was a reporter, TV host, anchor, master control, and a cameraman. Doug is survived by his parents, siblings, and funeral arrangements are forthcoming. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. And I'm Jason Koblenz. And we're going to say goodbye to a dear old friend. And good night, Prompt. Good night. Hey, welcome to the initial episode of Why Do You Think That? I'm Doug Brendel. I'm your host of the show. And with me today is the owner of KPVM. Vernon and Van Winkle. Vernon, how you doing today? Doing good, Doug. Glad to see that you're over there engineering the show. Hello and welcome to Talk TV. I'm your host, Doug Brendel. Tonight we have a return visit from Frank Carboni. He's running for Nye County Commissioner in District 2. Hello and welcome to Talk TV. Tonight we have a return guest, Harley Calkin. He is a candidate for State Senate District 19 and that includes Perump. Harley, how you doing tonight? Fantastic. Hello and welcome to Talk TV. I'm your host, Doug Brendel. Tonight, we're going to really switch it up. First off, there are no guests with me tonight here on Talk TV. It'll just be me. I am going to give you the real history of the town of Pahrump. Mmm! That is a tasty burger! Does it for this edition of News 46. I'm Doug Brendel. I'm Rhonda Van Winkle. And from everyone up here on the hill, we wish you a safe evening, and we'll see you here again tomorrow night. Good night. Good. And that does it for this edition of News 46. I'm Doug Brendel. I'm Rhonda Van Winkle. And we wish you a wonderful evening. See you here again tomorrow night. Good night, Perum.